Bachman, who's in the Weather Center, and Brian, mm -hmm. a really gorgeous day out there today. Yeah. A little bit of chill in the air, but um, mm -hmm. I'm enjoying the sun. <laughs> I agree. You know, a nice turnaround into a, like you said, crisp fall day out there, really kind of having that classic fall-like feeling for a change, and just a nice change of pace, even though, of course, we've needed the rain we've gotten over the last couple of days. Just nice to get some sunshine over the course of our weekend. Speaking of that rain, it did finally prove measurable <laughs> over the last couple of days. We have now for the month of November in the upstate at GSP Airport put just over two tenths of an inch of rain in the bucket. Now, does that help or provide substantial drought help? Not really, but it's better than nothing. It gets our uh, month uh, departure here or deficit down to just about an inch and a tenth. Go out to the entire fall season going back to September 1st. Remember, we go by the meteorological seasons. That now puts us at just over 1.7 inches of rain for the entire season. Still close to seven inches below average for the season as a whole, unfortunately, and uh, at least for the uh, for a day or two here, stabilizing uh, the amount that we're scaling back on our annual surplus here. But with a few more dry days ahead of us this week, well, I think the best we can hope for when looking at the latest drought monitor is maybe this to stabilize, but probably nothing more than that. I don't expect we're going to see any major improvement as we see extreme drought conditions continuing for Cherokee, Central Spartanburg, and Northern Greenville counties. Wide swath of Severe drought mostly coinciding with where we've had the wildfires at times over the last week or so, and at least moderate drought for just about the entire region outside of that. Hopefully, the showers that we did get did provide those firefighters with at least some help, but uh, likely not uh, completely bringing things to an end there yet, unfortunately. Back to how it feels out there, though, tonight, very much like fall. 53 right now, Hendersonville, Asheville. We're at 56, Greenville, 54 in the Anderson area, and you can see those low to mid 50s, pretty commonplace across the rest of the area. Outside of that, weather's just been trending better and better as the day goes on. A little bit, of course, uh, late day sunshine for us to enjoy once we got beyond about 1 to 2 o'clock in a lot of spots. Sun's down now consequence the time change a week ago and now we're poised to see high pressure take the reins here as we go into the start of the week meaning still chilly but at least quiet conditions to ease us back into work and school routines for tomorrow so here's your evening forecast on future track just continuing to see a few high clouds straying through the skies from time to time eight o'clock to midnight midnight into the overnight period. It is going to be, though, a notably colder start tomorrow morning. A lot of us poised to wake up to 30s with a little bit of a breeze, so make sure to uh, break those winter layers back out in full force. But not much change from there. Mostly sunny skies going from the uh, morning commute tomorrow through midday. Tomorrow evening around dinner time, we're looking at mostly clear conditions. Then some clouds will start to stray back into our skies tomorrow night, overspreading the area more and more going into Tuesday. But even so, as much as we'd like ideally to see the clouds bring us some rain, if they're going to be here anyway, uh, it's going to be a much cloudier day coming up on Tuesday, but not looking like it's going to be any wet weather just yet. So for tonight, it's back to frost mode here. we got scattered frost likely in the mountains with most low temperatures winding up a little bit around the freezing point, a degree or two above in some spots under partly cloudy conditions. Mostly clear skies and cold in the upstate too. We'll be looking at low temperatures bottoming out in the upper 30s there tonight. Rebounding at least toward more typical highs uh, in the upstate for Monday and Tuesday. Back to the mid 60s, a dip to the mid 50s uh, on Wednesday, however, as a cold front starts to roll in. That'll bring a chance for some showers Thursday, Friday before the sun returns with mid 60s in time for next weekend. And the mountains also looking at a couple of days in the 60s Monday, Tuesday. Mostly cloudy skies Wednesday 55 and a chance for a few showers to round out the end of the work week. Another full luggage forecast coming up later tonight on the 10 o'clock news.